Vogue pose, Vogue pose. Hey guys, Crystal here. I wanted to go ahead and do an unboxing of BoxyCharm. This is for the month of March. We're kind of seeing a little sneak peek of what we are going to be creating with this box. I did want to go ahead and do a try on full impression slash review on the products that come in this month's box and I thought this month would be perfect, especially since it practically gave me everything that I need from face to lips to eyes it had me covered so if you want to go ahead and see what I got in this month's box and how I incorporated the product into my makeup routine then just stay tuned girl where are you going so I do have the box open because I needed to see what it is that I needed to use and by the way I don't have pink eye if you're wondering I exfoliated my face and apparently I decided to exfoliate my eyeball so excuse that it'll go away so this theme is creepy cute it did take me a while to get it because i no longer live in the city I definitely should get a p.o box over here so the first thing in this box is the smashbox photo finish primer i'm actually going to just open this up oh my god it's like super liquidy right now it needs to be mixed up this is not silicone -y. honestly silicone primers are not my favorite but this is the only one that i can get down with but the thing is is that you kind of have to like squeeze like mix it up i have never had one that was like this so please let me know if yours came like this i'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation and concealer really quick i'll go ahead and just move on to the eyeshadow because they did provide us with an eyeshadow palette did you want me to see see <laughs> Okay, so this one here is from Naked Cosmetics, and I believe it actually did come in BoxyCharm, and this one is just the Mika Cosmetics eyeshadow primer. And we're back! So, Naked Cosmetics. Bam! Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I don't know why I say that all the time. Okay, so I'm just gonna... If, Honestly, it's so <gasps> it's so <gasps> it's gonna if honestly it's so <gasps> Oh my god. Well, that was on camera. So, that is what's left. At least that happened on camera. Receipts. Oh my god. I come out looking like Mufasa. I'm gonna use this one here. This is a creme brulee from Makeup Geek. It was in BoxyCharm, so we good. We all good. I'm just gonna pop this into the crease and just kind of blend it out a bit. We have that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my cleaning mat, which I need to clean, and we're just gonna freaking go for it, okay? I'm going to use these two colors and I'm just going to, we're just, we're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. This is honestly like the only look I can think of that I can probably pull something like this off. There is a ton of fallout, which is usually why I do my foundation after my eyeshadow. But today is the day that we are thrown off. Okay, so I have the initial shade down. The transition, the little crease brush is really dirty. So that is why I have not blended anything out. But now we are going to. And guys, I am not affiliated with BoxyCharm. Totally wish I was though, because I've been subscribed for like years. Honestly, the boxy charm is the shit. Before I go and do the lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one now. I'm just gonna pick it up with my pinky. A little rough, apparently. And I'm just gonna pat it on the center. This really does need to look presentable because honestly, I have an appointment at 11.15 and it is 8 o'clock right now 
So I will be wearing this. And it's not looking that bad. Okay, so now that I have the concealer on, I'm just going to take the leftover purple eyeshadow that we have in here and just kind of like buff it, place it, whatever you want to do. I kind of want to take this orange color and I'm just taking a little bit and I'm just going to kind of like apply it to like the the lower like the the bottom part of the purple eyeshadow that we just placed. So I'm really smoking this one out. Fine. <laughs> I'm going to clean that same brush off just a bit so that when I go and I blend it, I'm not really adding. I'm kind of merging so I'm gonna leave it but before I do I'm gonna just pat a little bit more on the center and I think it's time for some lashes I don't think I want to do a wing because it's a halo look so okay moving on I didn't do my hi my highlight because we got this big old kabuki brush. I honestly probably... No, I can't use this to contour, I don't think. So loud. I am running super late. Gosh. I could contour. But I'm going to use it as a highlight. I'm just going to wet it. And I'm going to use my Laura Geller highlight this is a little sample I got I think in Birchbox I'm just gonna use like half of the brush it's an okay brush it's I guess it's good for like when you like really really need to hurry up and you just want to dust something all over your face which is kind of like my situation right now I'm using the corner to try to see if I can like get my nose it works fine. The last two things in here are lippies. The first one is a Expert Advice Lip Liner. I am unstoppable. This is from Real Her. I can kind of see that I'm not probably not going to like this color. But let's see how it applies. It's a plastic pencil, so does it like twist up or something? How are you supposed to get this to move up? What's going on here? Am I just being a ditz right now? Because I don't see how this is supposed to sharpen. I don't know. I guess we will get back to it. Does it say it on the box? This is honestly plastic. Like, you can't put that in a pencil sharpener. I don't know what's going on here. Help me. <laughs> the next thing, which is the last thing inside the box, is... What's in the box? <laughs> the Real Her Lady Love Matte Liquid Lipstick. So we got a lip liner and a liquid lipstick. This is in the shade I Will Succeed. Last month we got a lipstick and I didn't really like the shade too much. It's a little bit like ashy for me. So hopefully, oh, I hope this, no, oh, mm. I feel like this is a little too natural for me. But it seems like the same color. Yeah. It's like a peach, a peachy Kind of color since I'm like kind of warmer toned it's coming off more orangey like peachy and kind of too light for me for my taste anyway yeah I feel like this is better for lighter skin I'm looking at my monitor and it kind of looks nude I don't know it right now like it looks like a peachy nude and I'm not into that. That's not what I like. But so this is what it looks like. Wham, wham, bam, bam, vogue, pose, vogue, pose. And just put something over it. That's a little better. 
for me. Anyways, and if you guys are wondering, I just use my Tarte Lip Paint in Delish. I think I got that in my Playboy Sephora, if you guys are wondering. No, I got it in my Ipsy. Okay, so that's it, guys, for the unboxing of my BoxyCharm, as well as the try-on, review, first impressions, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, yeah, I would say that I did like everything in this box. I would say um, the only thing is that this is a little bit iffy. That's definitely definitely not BoxyCharm's fault. They just purchase it and put it in the box for us to try out. But the quality is really amazing. All I got to do is just reactivate the glue and I should be good. As far as everything else goes, I think the only thing that I don't really like is... I, wanted, I don't really, I'm hoping, I didn't really give it a chance to, but I'm going to see if it will oxidize any of these. And I will show you guys at the end, I have a little clip at the, somewhere up in this bitch. I went ahead and I let it dry. It did kind of oxidize and deepen up just a little bit, but not enough. Again, I prefer, I prefer. <laughs> I prefer like the brownie kind of nudes but this is definitely on the peachy side I think it's a better for lighter skin maybe light I don't know I consider myself to be light medium but I don't like it particularly for me but I think it would be better for lighter skin or very 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 tan warm skin so there's that as you can see they're just like a little bit too peachy for me so I just don't prefer this but I know people who will and honestly it, it it made like a good lip combination if you guys have any questions comments recommendations leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you guys as fast as I can so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe but if you are subscribed hit the little bell button so you can get notified of all of my videos with that being said remember that I love you and I'll see you guys next time